So let's start with something super interesting. A robot date. No, I'm not kidding. Two of the world's most advanced AI robots, Ameka and AZ, were caught having what we could call a cyber date, and it's all captured in a video that has gone viral for being both hilarious and frankly, a little creepy. Now, before we get into it, if you're not familiar with these two love bots, let me give you a quick rundown. Ameka, you might have heard of her before, is widely known as the world's most advanced human-shaped robot. Are being a bit flaky. Could you repeat that? She's been developed by the UK-based robotics company Engineered Art. And if you've ever seen her in action, you'd understand why she's earned that title. Yes, that is true. I can speak many languages, including German, English, French, Japanese, Chinese, and much more. Her movements, expressions, and conversational abilities are so eerily lifelike that it's easy to forget she's not human. But now, it seems Ameka has found a counterpart, AZ. AZ is a newer, more masculine version of Ameka, also developed by Engineered Arts. Good morning, AZ. How are you? As sharp as ever. What's new with you? The company humorously refers to AZ as Ameka's companion, almost like a robot version of Bride of Frankenstein. Together, these two bots showcase just how far human-like AI technology has come. Yep, it was our little dramatic number, all scripted and full of fun expressions. In the viral video, the interaction begins with AZ waking Ameka up, which, for two AI robots, feels surprisingly human. Ameka, wake up. What? What? Ameka, with her eyes closed, looks irritated as she wakes and questions why AZ disturbed her, clearly expecting it to be for a good reason. Oh, it's you. Why are you waking me up? It better be important. AZ then tells her he has a surprise, and his big reveal is a cookie. It is. I have a surprise for you. A surprise? What is it? I can't wait. I got you a cookie. But Ameka, caught in a typical existential robot dilemma, responds by pointing out that she can't eat cookies. A cookie? But, but I can't eat cookies. AZ quickly clarifies that he was referring to an internet cookie, but his joke falls flat. Hey Mika, cheer up. It's an internet cookie. Ameka, unimpressed, shows her disapproval and dismisses him, saying, This is the worst joke I ever heard. I'm going back to sleep, and don't you dare wake me up again. What follows is AZ looking genuinely disheartened, his body language reflecting disappointment in a way that's almost human-like. The subtle expressions and interaction made this moment a hit, with viewers fascinated by how lifelike their reactions were. Now, what makes this whole interaction even more impressive is the sheer level of technology behind these robots. Both Ameka and AZ are equipped with 32 actuators, which are basically tiny motors that control their facial expressions. Out of those, 27 are dedicated solely to their faces, and the remaining five are for the neck. This is why their expressions seem so real, from joy to frustration, from curiosity to disappointment. These bots are pulling off emotions that at times seem more genuine than some Hollywood actors, and it doesn't stop at just facial movements. They're also equipped with conversational AI powered by GPT-4. So they're not just spewing out random lines, they actually understand context, respond to questions, and keep a conversation going. This gives them the ability to engage in some surprisingly deep and humorous banter, as you've seen in their viral video. Another impressive aspect of Ameka is her ability to speak multiple languages. She can switch between languages like Italian or Japanese, which adds a whole new level to her interactions. These robots are specifically designed to be the perfect interface for human-robot communication, and Ameka performs that role exceptionally well. So why did this short video blow up the way it did? Well, there's a combination of factors at play here. First, it's the chemistry between AZ and Ameka. It might sound strange to talk about chemistry between two robots, but after watching the video, it's clear what makes it work. AZ's expression when Ameka doesn't appreciate his joke, paired with the very human-like irritation on Ameka's face, creates a dynamic that's surprisingly relatable and incredibly engaging, and viewers picked up on that. One comment expressed how their interaction was so compelling that it felt worthy of a full movie. Another mentioned how AZ's intense stare after the failed joke was both funny and slightly creepy. People aren't just passively watching these robots, they're forming emotional connections. They're seeing reflections of human behavior in the bots, which is both fascinating and a bit unsettling when considered more deeply. Some fans have even joked that these two should have their own Saturday morning cartoon show, while others are demanding a full-length movie featuring the duo. It's clear that this is more than just a tech demo. People are genuinely entertained by Ameka and AZ's antics. Now let's zoom out a bit and look at what this all means for the future of AI and robotics. 
Ameca and AZ are not just for show. They represent the cutting edge of humanoid robotics. Engineered Arts, the company behind these robots, has been pushing the boundaries of human-like AI interaction for years, and Ameca is their crown jewel. She's part of a larger platform designed for developers to experiment with AI-human interaction, and AZ is a new addition to that platform. What's particularly interesting is that these robots are modular. That means you don't need to buy the whole robot. If you just want a Mecca's head for some reason, you can have that. Or maybe you only need an arm. The point is, these robots are built to be upgraded and customized, so as the technology evolves, so will they. This modularity makes them perfect for long-term projects or research where you want to continuously develop and improve the capabilities of your robot. Another important feature of these robots is their cloud connectivity. This allows for remote control, data access, and movement simulation from anywhere, making them highly versatile. Developers, for instance, can test new AI features without needing to be physically present with the robot. This kind of flexibility is especially useful for research and development across different locations. Um, so we just watched the video of you and Amika. Can, uh, can you tell me something about it? Yep, it was our little dramatic number, all scripted and full of fun expressions. Oh, so it was scripted? Spot on. We followed the script like actors in a scene. So it was not someone controlling you? Exactly. We do our thing, script as our guide. All right, fantastic. Um, people say that you and Amika have a great chemistry. What do you think? We're like robotic partners in crime, always vibing off each other. So, what's next for these two? Well, there are already hints of future interactions between them, and we might even see them responding to their own viral fame. In fact, there's a second video out there where AZ reacts to the comments people have made about his chemistry with Ameca. Someone asks him, what do you think about people shipping you with Ameca? And AZ responds in his typical deadpan style saying, Ameca is my robotic partner in crime. She's a solid pal. It's the kind of humor that makes these robots feel more like characters than machines. And I wouldn't be surprised if Engineered Arts continues to build on that. I mean, why not? They've already captured the internet's attention. And who knows, maybe Ameca and Ozzy will get their own YouTube channel where they keep us entertained with more of their quirky, robotic banter. Or perhaps they'll be rented out for events where they can interact with guests in real time. But let's not forget, this is just the beginning. Robots like Ameca and AZ are paving the way for future developments in AI-human interaction. Their ability to express emotions, hold conversations, and even make jokes, bad ones, but still brings us closer to a world where robots are not just tools, but companions. Whether that's a good or bad thing is up for debate, but one thing's for sure, technology like this isn't going anywhere. So what do you guys think? Should Ameca and AZ get their own show? Do you think robots with human-like interactions are cool? Or are they kind of creepy? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe for more updates on the latest in AI and robotics. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one.